my desire was to try and um, really study the material that was on the website and the exhibition platform and understand what kinds of lines I could draw out of this. I also started making mind maps. These mind maps became almost um, like cloud clusters. Out of these mind maps uh, came a very important question which is how do you measure a cloud? It was uh, the provocation of how do you think about the monsoon, um, London as a monsoonal city. And I thought this was quite a complex and big question and it needed to be reframed slightly, um, reframed for people to scale it to something that they could manage. Then I started also very intuitively wanting to make the map of London. And so these watercolors, these water maps began. I'm excited about the water maps because of the way that I filmed making them. So it's not about a finished product, but it's about a process of thinking how the medium of water floods a page and slowly over time, um, you know, dries into this kind of shell or this, this map. The residency has really enabled me to look at the ground under my feet and to think about London more closely and to scrutinize the kinds of archives that exist here, but also the legacy of connections that one can pull out from London to South Asia. The question of how London is a monsoonal city is also something I think about in a historical context. And this fascination of the British um, Empire wanting to really think about how the monsoon can be predicted, how it can be controlled. And of course the monsoon defies modeling, so this was a very difficult task. It's quite an unusual challenge to do an artist residency virtually. And so one of the ways that I started doing some research was really to look at archives within London um, and different bodies of research that already exist. This project was very much about unpacking this um, archive of weather history and really thinking about it as a South Asian woman, um, as a person who wants to perhaps take ownership of that history and also find how do these, um, how do these archives, um, how do we make them live, how do we um, reimagine them, how, how do they translate for us as social documents of history rather than um, analytical data. The Monsoonal Multiplicities platform gives me something really precious which is the coming together of two very different kinds of information. One is the scientific knowledge that's produced out of this research project, um, which in a sense I would call a fast technology, and the other is this everyday analog, uh, slow technology of people's lived experiences. As a cultural practitioner, I also feel that it's very important to engage with other disciplines. I wanted to see how I could, through my practice, make this very rich body of research um, more accessible or perhaps just accessible in a different way. An important thing that I learned from Monsoon and Multiplicities platform is the fact that we can learn from the Global South. So the solutions, the processes, the, the sustainable um, ways of living that people adapt and adopt in their lives is something that I think continues. There's a kind of tradition of living with climate, with weather conditions, um, and using those conditions to kind of um, move through your space. So I think that is something very precious that this platform gives us.